Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today we're going to talk about the importance of traditions and how traditions are glue that holds the family together. My friend Carol Audison, the late Carol Audison, she was a poet, an author, and a college professor, and she said this to me. She said, there are no perfect families and there are no perfect relationships, just perfect moments, and that those perfect moments can become perfect family traditions. Traditions are those things, if you were to give a definition for it, it's those activities or special things that we do on a regular basis, year after year, and that they're handed down from one family to another, and they become a legacy in a family, and then we refer to them as traditions. They don't have to be something very elaborate. They can be as simple as a family recipe that you gather around as a family, and every Sunday you share that family recipe, and you love it, and you enjoy it. Lul, uh, Newell Lloyd, who was also a researcher, he said that traditions are the core and the heart of family, that they are important, that they're the glue that holds the family together. I want you to think about traditions that you have in your family that have been really special, that have been handed down, maybe from a grandparent or a grandfather or a great-grandparent or a great-grandfather. I recently interviewed Thaddeus Ford. He is, comes from a family of six generations of jazz musicians, and he himself is a jazz musician. He represents the sixth generation, and his little son now is also interested and loves music, and he gets this love of his music from his father, and he will represent the seventh generation. That, that is an example of an amazing family tradition. In my family, I remember there were certain recipes that I loved that my grandmothers fixed. And so I remember when I was in college going to them and asking them, can you tell me I want to write down these recipes because I want to have them in my home. Well, in that day and age, they didn't really write down recipes. They, they were all in their head and they took a little bit of this and a little bit of that and they created something for their family and for their grandchildren and everyone loved them, but they were never written down. So that was one thing that I decided that all of the recipes that I made and the different things and I love to cook and bake and especially I wanted to in involve my children in the process of learning how to cook and bake. So we made certain things for different holidays and we made the same thing for every holiday and so those became very important family traditions. When each of my sons got married, I presented them with a book of all of those different recipes and I included the history behind each one of those recipes so that when their children and their grandchildren and my great-grandchildren read those histories about those different recipes, they, were, they would know that they came from a long line of family. Now that's one. Maybe there is a, a tradition that you have of going to a certain place on a vacation, or maybe there's a certain spot that you love in the world that you want to take your kids to, and you make that a tradition of doing it. Maybe for each one of your holidays, not only is there a special food, but there's a special activity that you do for every single holiday. One uh, very special tradition that we do is on Christmas Eve, and I usually start around July or August thinking about this, but we have a special time that we gather together as a family, and we talk about something that is going to help us improve ourselves, like the importance of gratitude and the importance of kindness to other people and the importance of service. All of those things can become important family traditions. They are the things that will glue and keep your family glued tight together. I'm going to leave you with a quote from Fiddler on the Roof. Tevier, at the very end of it, he says, Without our traditions, life would be as shaky as a fiddler on the roof. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow for any additional um, uh, helps or ideas and stuff. Check out my link in the, in the uh, comments section below. Bye.